Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be going over the PC requirements, both the minimum and recommended for Battlefield 2042. I will also go over what you can expect performance wise with the minimum requirements. Jumping straight into the minimum requirements that you're going to want to have, starting with the CPU. If you're on the AMD side of things, you're going to want to have at least an FX8350. And if you're on the Intel side, you're going to want to have at least a Core i5-6600K. You're also going to want to have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. And for the graphics card, you're going to need at least a Radeon RX 560. Or if you've got an NVIDIA, you're going to want to need that GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. Now comparing the minimum requirement for this game, compare the Battlefield 5's minimum requirement. The 1050 Ti is an upgrade from what Battlefield had, which was just a regular 1050. So the minimum requirement is slightly gone up just a little. Now moving on to the recommended side of things, starting off with the CPU, they recommend if you're AMD, you got a Ryzen 5 3600, and then if you're running an Intel CPU, they recommend having a Core i7 4790. Now the ideal RAM is brought up from 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes, but I would expect most, if not all of us who have bought a PC maybe within the last two, three years, probably purchased at least 16 gigabytes of RAM so I wouldn't really expect that to be an issue and finally for the recommended graphics card listed for an AMD would be a Radeon RX 5600 XT and if you're running an NVIDIA graphics card they recommend a GeForce RTX 2060 now for those of you who only have the minimum or just over the minimum requirements you're probably going to have to turn down some graphic settings in the game, especially if you don't want your frames to suffer a lot. You should also expect roughly 60 frames per second, maybe not a whole lot more than that, but somewhere around there. If you are unsure about your specs and you want to compare them to the list that I provided you today, I highly recommend you check out User Benchmark user comparison tool this will give you the useful data to analyze to see how your specs match up with what is in the list now if you have specs that aren't up to the minimum requirements oh well better luck next year <laughs> all jokes aside though if you are in this boat my advice would be for you to get something that can meet the minimum requirement whether that you be getting a GPU, you're getting a CPU, the RAM, whatever you need to meet the requirement because I'm sure there's been a lot of testing for this game and you're just you're, you're going to want to meet that minimum requirement. It's going to help out with frames per second and it's probably going to help out with your game functioning, not crashing a lot. So that's just my advice. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If so, be sure to drop a like and a share. If you want to find your way back for future videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you know every time I drop a new video. Also, follow me on all socials. I have the links down below in the description. And come check me out on stream at twitch.tv slash xwaynesolo. I am almost to affiliate, so any support would be really awesome and muchly appreciated. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys next time.